Hello, BookTube. This is Fred, and you're watching Read by Fred. March is March of the Mammoths, and this is a read-along where we are to read a book that is over 800 pages in length. And I thought to myself, you know what, I've got a lot of books that are over 800 pages, and it would probably be a good idea to participate in this event. So here I am. So there's a couple of books that I can actually do. Uh, what are there? There's The History of Rome by Livy, which is about 1600 pages. It's an ebook. And I also have another ebook. Uh, it's Diplomacy by Henry Kissinger. That's about 900 pages. I'm already 43% into Henry Kissinger's Diplomacy. Tempting. There's also The History of Greece. Hold on, let me get that for you. I'm sorry, The Life of Greece by Will Durant. This one, which is just over 800 pages. I also picked up another book recently, and it is Zoology, The Integrated Principles of Zoology. And this comes over at about 110, 120 pages. And it is a first and second semester undergraduate course. And it is very interesting. I'm very tempted to take this one on too. But unfortunately, as I'm getting older, my body is going to creak a little bit more. I'm going to feel aches that I have not felt before. And I'm thinking it might be a better idea if I take on another book. And that book is Anatomy and Physiology, A Unity of Form and Function by Saladin. Now this is a monster of a book. This is not a small book. This is about 1,100 pages of undergraduate first and second semester material. Oh boy. <laughs> But in all seriousness, I do plan on reading this book for the month of March. This is part of my science goal for 2022. And uh, yeah, as I get older, I'm really going to need to be able to understand my body and understand that when there's a pain in my shoulder, I know exactly what part of my shoulder is in pain, not just a general statement that my shoulder is in pain. Anatomy and Physiology, the Unity of Form and Function is broken up into five parts, and the parts are as follows. Part one is organization of the body. Part two is support and movement. Part three is integration and control. Part four is regulation and maintenance. And part five is reproduction and development. Now, fair warning, I've already read the first part and I've already taken notes on this. And this isn't the kind of book that I'm gonna be able to read and finish in a month. This is gonna take the entire year for me to read. But March of the Mammoths is going to give me a good incentive and a good push to get hopefully parts two and three of this book done. Now with any textbook, you're not just reading for the pleasure of reading, you're reading for comprehension. So I will be going to YouTube and to the internet to identify parts of the book that, uh, you know, might be a little fuzzy to me, concepts in the book that I may not understand after reading the passage. So it'll be a long while before I actually finish this book but it is a book that I intend on finishing in 2022. So part one is organization of the body, and it's gonna talk about the major themes of anatomy and physiology, an atlas and general orientation of human anatomy. So when you're talking about the human body, there are different uh, planes. So you have the posterior, anterior, uh, frontal, lateral, things like that. Uh, the chemistry of life. So I'm already, I've already taken a couple of courses in uh, chemistry and biology, so I am familiar in life sciences and biochemistry. So the initial chapters will not be too hard for me. It's uh, the latter chapters where they go into the detail of the organ systems. That's where I will be learning the majority of new material. I, uh, I have a surface level understanding of the human body and uh, the different organ systems within the body, but I'm hoping that this book will provide me with more information and help me better understand things as I age and things start to creak and ache a little more than before. Part two is gonna be about support and movement. So it's gonna be the integumentary system, so the skin, uh, bone tissue, the skeletal system, joints, the muscular system and muscular tissue. Part three is gonna be the nervous tissue, the spinal cord, spinal nerves and somatic reflexes, the brain and cranial nerves, the autonomic nervous system and visceral reflexes, sense organs and the endocrine system. Part four is gonna be regulation and maintenance. So this one's gonna talk about the circulation of the blood, circulation within the heart, uh, blood vessels and circulation, 
uh, lymphatic and immune systems, the respiratory system, the urinary system, water, electrolyte, and acid-base balance, the digestive system, and nutrition and metabolism. The final part, part five, we'll be talking about reproduction and development, the male reproductive system, the female reproductive system, and human development and aging. Maybe I should start with the aging chapter. But all in all, this is gonna be a good book. Like I said, I've already done part one, I've already taken notes on part one. So I am on chapter six so far, and I'm hoping that for the month of March, I can hopefully get in, by the time I'm done the month of March, maybe chapter 13 or 14, so that's my pick for March of the Mammoths. I hope I know what I'm getting into. Thank you so much for watching. This is Fred, and you're watching Red by Fred. Zoology, anatomy, zoology, anatomy. I'm going to go with anatomy. History of Greece, anatomy, history of Greece, anatomy. I'd love to learn about the history of Greece. But as I get older, I think it's better if I learn about anatomy. I know what you're thinking. I'm a little crazy. I agree. Oh, it weighs a ton.